Question of the day, Mother Truckers. What is your goal in life? What drives you? What burns inside you that makes you get up in the morning, get in that truck, and make it happen? Comment down below. I appreciate all the support, Mother Truckers. So uh, tomorrow, we're doing a Christmas special. If you grab a Mother Trucker hat or shirt, I'm going to put in an extra gift in there for you. So that's just good for tomorrow. So get ready to buy that merch tomorrow, man. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. I love you. And, you know, thank you for allowing me to have this opportunity to just help truck drivers. So just a quick backstory. You know, my parents are from Vietnam. After the war, they came over here. I was the first one born in my family in Hayward, California. And we were just broke. We were poor. We were just like every other American just trying to make it happen. I remember my dad, you know, barely speaking English, barely any. My mom didn't speak at all. Uh, barely speaks English now and um, you know my dad gets a job at the post office and you know we buy this old Oldsmobile for like a couple hundred bucks from my uncle and you know it's always breaking down I, I remember vividly we were going to my aunt's house and this just beautiful bright colored car just goes by and I can't read but it had a, it was, I don't know, it was just, it was just incredible, you know? And I later find out that it's a Lamborghini. And from that day till this day, I told myself, I'm going to grind hard, you know? And one day I'm going to be able to afford that Lamborghini. And it was one of those things where I didn't believe it. I didn't think I was ever going to get one. Right, And I know now that it'd be dumb to get one, but I can't tell you how many times I've driven by the dealership and just looked at them. I, I've actually um, never driven one. You know, I've jumped into Ferraris, I've jumped into McLarens, I've jumped into all these exotic cars, but for some reason, never the Lamborghini. I don't know why, it was just a childhood dream. And I've been saving for a very long time, right? Uh, for the ones that don't know, I worked for North American Van Lines for the last 10 years, six months on, six months off, and I've just been saving all my money. And I made some real estate investments, stock investments, uh, doing what I can, build the credit, leverage, I mean, everything by the book. And it seems like I'm almost at that point where I could afford that car, right? And I'm not going to buy it. Actually, I can't even afford it anymore because what I've done recently was I, I decided that I really care more about family. And that goal, that dream was just really something that was just something to keep me going, right? And this YouTube channel and everything with it and helping truck drivers have given me my real purpose in life. And, and that's okay if you don't know what your purpose is yet, you know? Time will tell, but trucking has done so much for me. So I, I, I just love giving back my time for that. But what, did, what I decided to do instead of buying the Lamborghini, I paid off the Forerunner, paid off the Jeep Wrangler, paid off the Camry, paid off the Corvette, got the house appraised. It's estimated about a million dollars. And I owe about 300 and so, and some change. I paid off the semi truck. Um, I paid off all the credit card debt. And probably the biggest thing that I've done that I'm super proud of is I paid off all the immediate debt and car debt for my brother, sister, and parents. And so I can't believe it, but at the age of 36, I can say that I've given my family an opportunity to live their best life and when someone tells them that they have to do something that they don't want to do they don't have to do it and and that's what it really comes down to that's what it comes down to is being able to build for you and when someone tells you what to do you don't have to do it you know the more you buy the more you enslave yourself, right? And I'm not saying don't buy yourself nice things. 
Like I said, my goal growing up as a kid was to have this Lamborghini. Why did I want it? I wanted it because I thought people would love me. I thought people would think of me different. I thought people would care about me, right? That people thought I was successful. But being successful is really about taking care of you and your family and being able to do it while loving what you do. You know, there's not that much in between this world. You're born, you die. In between is what you make out of it. And you know what? When you go to a job every single day and your boss knows less than you, the person you're working for is an idiot, but you have to do what they say because you work for them. It sucks, man. It's depressing and it sucks. And when you're, you're living above your means and you're doing all these things and you're trying to look like you're somebody that you're not and you're acting like someone that you're not, you got to wake up. You know, you got to find out deep inside what you want in this world, what you want to do, what you want to accomplish and get it done. And trucking has done that for me and is continually doing that for me. And I, I just... I'm so appreciative of it that I make these videos every single day and I update you guys every single day because I want at one point for there to be a spark in you if you really want this, right? If you really think about it, I literally make the same videos every day, but maybe today is the day that you need to hear it. But what drives you? What drives you out of bed? What drives you to get in that cab and drive this truck? What is it? You better figure that out because we got to start living more, man. You know, yeah, that goal was to get that Lamborghini. But really, forget that Lamborghini, man. I, I'm more proud to be able to say that I can take care of my family. And for that, for me, for myself, that means something. That's something that no one ever know if I didn't say it. But I'm letting you guys know because it's possible. Because the 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 ten the ten year ago me, the fifteen year old me, I I wouldn't be able to do any of this. You got to believe in you before others do. No one's going to believe in you until you've already done it. And so, whatever that's that is that you truly want, go out and grab it because you can. If a guy like me can do it. You definitely can. That's all I have to say about that.